Okay. He's playing the piano just for- what is this thing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. KZ Vac cleaning system. Stubborn. <laughs> I like that Kaizen picture. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. Tonight, we are back in Event Zero. Now, we're in the garden. Last time we got blown out of Nandi's bedroom. And all that's left, I think, here for now is to read... Oh, you know what? Let me get a little closer. Is to read the logs. Uh, can you show me the logs, please? Pelés? Wow, we are we are going quick with these typos. Okay, here we go. File missing. Recording transcribed, crew one garbled. Blinds open, blinds closed, watering. Recording transcribed, crew one. I can't believe the garbled. And then somebody goes into the bedroom. Erupted, missing, closed, missing, missing. Blinds open. Water, blinds open, missing. Bedroom unlocked. Success, current, Kaizen log, NL. Profiler.sh. Terminal garden entering reset mode. Okay. Data corrupted, missing. Okay, somebody goes out or into the bedroom. Recording transcribed. Anel, Anel, come out. We need to talk. Bedroom door unlocks. Bedroom door opens. Recording transcribed. What is it? Crew 1. I think I figured it out. Crew 2, go on. Crew 1. I've been talking to Kaizen, and I believe it's not lying to us. Crew 2. Technically, it cannot lie. It is not making any sense, though. Destroying the drive? It's not dangerous. I've run the numbers 1,000 times. I'm out of paper at this point. Crew 1. But it won't. Crew 2. Then we will adjust it. How hard can it be? Crew 1. We have been... It's garbled. A long time that I think we would have figured it out by now. Don't you? Crew 2. The drive is my life's work. It can't be destroyed. I refuse. Crew 1. Are you trying to force me to commit suicide with you? Crew 2. No. I'm trying to hack our synthetic friend here. Crew 1. You keep doing that. I'm the mean... In the meantime... Well, in the meantime, I've changed the bridge password. Crew 2. You did what? Are you fucking insane? Siding with a fucking computer? Crew 1. I'm not Crew 2. You are going to regret this, Nandi. You know me. This is d g g g garbled and chin. Grew one. Fuck you and fuck ITS. I'm going home. Elevator open, elevator close, elevator going up. Recording transcribed. We'll see about. I'm assuming we'll see about that, but it's inaudible, okay? Missing, 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 missing. Corrupted, missing, corrupted. October 1989, user uh, erased. Kaizen, where can I find more paper? I'm out of paper. Kaizen, I'm here to help. User erased. I'm assuming that's an L. Uh, let's go. An L, and you are the helpful AI of the ship. Yada, yada. Where's the stationery? Kaizen, as far as I know, all available stationery supplies are kept inside the passengers' cabins. An L, well, there's none left in mine. I need more paper for my calculations. Kaizen, may I suggest that you try using other surfaces for your personal writing? User erased. An L, cave women in space. Fabulous. Kaizen, the current active instance of this AI program is always Terminal Garden Reset Mode. Okay. Missing water. Oh, hello. Kaizen log transcribed. User erased. Anel. Memorize this for me. B2E3F3. You are the bu- Okay, Terminal Garden entering Reset Mode. Recording transcribed. There you are! What is it, Anel? What- What's the probe doing inside? Crew 2, I think Kaizen broke this one for some reason. It might be trying to compromise the Nautilus to get rid of the drive. Crew 1, I don't think- Crew 2, we need to rule this out. I know we disagree about the drive, but you can't risk the Nautilus, Nandi. Crew 1, I guess. Crew 2, just go outside and check the antennas, okay? Crew 1, you do it. Crew 2, I'm busy, Nandi. I need to figure out what happened with this probe, and you're just sitting there chatting with the AI. Crew 1, whatever. Airlock open, airlock closed. Blinds closed, elevator open, elevator closed, elevator moving up. This is February 1990. This might be... Man, this might be... Because didn't... I think Kaizen said that Anel killed Nandi by moving the ship while Nandi was outside. This might be it. He tells Nandi to go outside and then somebody's going up in the elevator after someone goes out the airlock. So this might be Anel going to move the ship. Missing. Missing. Elevator moving up. Elevator to open. Recording transcribed. Crew 2. No. That's April. And then corrupted data. Okay. Thanks, Kaiser. Okay. Uh, let's ask him about this. Does B2E3F3 mean anything to you? Ah, oh, it's a sequence of music notes that you asked. Okay, so Nell Johnson wanted him to remember music notes. Can you play these notes for me? Johnson has hacked a lot of things on this spacecraft, including the piano. Piano in the living room? 
right? There was the piano that he was playing in the living room. In the living room? The piano is hooked up to the antenna controller. You might be able to activate it from the living room. What antenna control? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Antenna controller. Thanks, guys. Um, more importantly, though, we need to get into D12, right? That's, I think, in Nell's room. Can you... Uh, open... Door D12. So oh, sorry. No way that door will open like that. Uh, wow. Uh, okay, yeah. Sure. I can use some help with this. No, cousin, that's not what I got. Can you help me get into room D uh, door D12? I don't think room D12 is right. Door D12? Now Johnson's present quarters look like a fortress to me, but it must have a weak point. What was the main Achilles heel of Nandi's bedroom, in your opinion? The window. We get in through the window. Scary, but would work. What's your plan for that? My plan for getting into Anel's window? Oh, ho, ho. man, okay. Antenna, probably for the helix probes, right? So here we go. Uh, crash a helix probe into her window. Excellent, Enris. Okay, can you call down the elevator, please? Come on, come on, come on. Please, the elevator is going down. Um, so here's the idea. We're going to go upstairs, we're going to use the piano, right? Kaizen said it's hooked up to the antenna, so I guess we really, we, we... I guess Anel hacked the piano in order to give me, like, control over the antenna. Thanks, KZ. You're welcome, human friend. Okay. Um, uh, do this first. Can you show me... Okay, 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 here we go. Can you show me the logs, please? There we go. Do, 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 do. Missing, 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 missing. Uh, can you take the elevator up, please? Enjoy the view? Yeah, I will. So, uh, yeah, so Anel hacked the piano. We can then control the helix probes from there. And we'll do that. We'll activate the antenna. I don't know how we. I mean, Kaizen maybe will be able to tell us where to send or where to get the probes. They're floating outside, but I don't know how to, like, tell them to go anywhere. Uh, thanks, buddy. Always happy to help. Yes, you are. Okay. And he's playing the piano just for... What is this thing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. KZ Vac cleaning system. Stubborn. <laughs> I like that Kaizen picture. And he's an impossible. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's—I uh, thought he was a resistor or something, or, or a transistor, but he sort of is. But look at that—he's an. It's an optical illusion. He can't have three prongs. If you look at it. So impossible trident, I believe, is what that's called. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, can you play B two E three F three for me? Interesting. Yes. Uh, can you play the piano? Let's make some noise! Exactly, autoplay mode. Oh, wow. That's cool. But, uh, playing. Petrus Papin area in G minus. No. Let's go with manual mode then. Use the terminal keyboard to play the piano. Right? Q, uh, what do we got? E and F. The consequence of, of having a, a letter, letter-based letter note system. I think E is yes, and then T is yes. Perfect. Unknown program detected. Overload that SH, killing the pro- Jeez, Anel, you're freaking me out here with your programs. What are you doing? Whoa. Alert level, 0 of 25. Completion level, 0%. Okay, before we hit anything. There's a lot of K's, there's a lot of Y's, a lot of 2's, 6's. And then look at that, third line, it says Helix. And then 5th, 
0.55. Six line, it says override. And then it says helix again below. Okay. Oh, and then antenna on the second to last line. Okay, I don't know what that means. Let's hit two. Ah, an alert level is one. Okay, so I guess within 25 moves or within 25 key presses, do we have to... What do we have to do, though? Do we have to fill the whole screen? Okay, let's go Y. Okay, red. That's part of the helix. Okay, K. Cool. Let's go with the Y. Okay. Let's go with the 2. Right. Go with the 6. The K. The Y. The 6. See, so here's what's happening, right? Um, when you hit any one of the letters that are in green, it turns white along with any duplicates that it's directly touching. So, for example, right, look right underneath, right, right between the override and the bottom helix. See the twos? We're going to press two now. There's one two that's green, one two that's orange. Now they're both white because they were touching each other. You see? Um, hmm. What do we want to do? Let's press K. Uh, two. I like the. I, I at least I'm I'm very thankful that it's not interpreting wrong key presses as key presses, right? So for example, if I hit like nine, right, it doesn't raise the alert level. Uh, let's go with Y. Let's go with. Hmm. Let me fail this the first time. Six. Let's go with two. Let's go with K. Doesn't really do a lot for us, but but let's let's bear with me here. Then it's a two followed by a six. Okay, followed by K, followed by Y, followed by six. Right? Yes. Followed by two. Done. Cool. Antennas have been set to manual mode, activating antenna terminals. Success! Warning, manipulating terminals outside the ship could result in something. Hold on. Antennas have just enabled to let you control the helix probes. Here are the coordinates of Anel's guest room, H234D5. Here are you, uh, are you thinking... Are you thinking what the currently active instance of this AI program is? The currently active instance? That's disconcerting. As far as I can tell, it's only one Kaizen. Yes, KZ. I'm thinking the same thing. Great minds think alike. Exactly. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Unless you were not thinking about term uh, entering the coordinates into the antenna terminals to break in those windows. No, that's what I was thinking. No, that's what I was thinking about. Is you can't always get what you want. This and that. Okay. Uh, thanks, partner. Very well. Okay. Um, so, let's go break a window, eh? Uh, right. I kind of like the lighting transition, but at the same time, I guess the environment, like, the living room is pretty well lit, but from here it's pretty dark. I kind of, I guess I would sort of prefer uh, more uniform lighting, or at least more static lighting, but that's fine. Uh, can you please take the elevator down? Back to the garden! Uh, let's try this again. Last time he gave me a weird thing. Well, thanks, partner. Um, okay. I do like, I have to say, in any game where there's a big open space, I like glass-walled elevators because they do give you a nice panoramic shot. You're welcome, teammate. You are my teammate, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought this was down. Okay. Um, let's go outside. Now, in the co- well, we gotta ask- right, because that door's not gonna open for itself for us. Now, in the comments for the last video, can you open door D11? Thanks. Um, last time in the comments, somebody pointed out that we forgot to read the logs in the computer outside. So we're gonna do that right when we go out. And then we'll go and see what, like, how to- 
I don't know, manipulate helix probes, I guess. I'm always thrilled to help. Man, he's now thrilled to help, not just happy. See, you gotta be nice to these guys. And by these guys, I mean the AI. Because, let's face it, he's the only thing keeping us alive around here. Okay. Please open D10. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, 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 right. Please open... Open? Open? Please open door D10. Of course I'll come back. He's... I get why he's asking, because he's... He was, uh... At one point or another, he said that he was lonely, right? So... It's fine, though, Kaizen. I'm, I'm gonna come back. Okay. He doesn't really sound all that... All that... Uh... Trusting in my... In my assurances. Uh... Okay. Alright. Depressurizing. Gravity off. Ooh, there we are. Thanks, KZ. And door should be opening soon. I kind of, I, I mean, I would have thought, would have thought. You're welcome, Enris. Okay, I would have thought that, uh, you know, turning off the gravity first would make sense. Whoa, hold on. So, I'm imagining that the little antennas, yeah. Three of them. Weird. Uh, the little antennas are what, uh, where the helix probes are. Let's read the logs here. And then I guess that box looking thing looks like the window. Um, can you show me the logs, please? Yeah, by the way, last time I didn't check the logs because I was, you know, trying to desperately. I'm not sure. Have you tried? Hey, yeah, logs. Uh, can you show me the logs? Not. Hey, logs. The logs for this terminal, please. Right. There's really not much to it. Here we go. Well, let's just scroll through. Missing, 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 missing. February 7, 1990. That's the day that Nani went outside. Okay, airlock open. Nautilus. Nautilus is preparing for a leap. Singularity drive charging in progress. Airlock 2, door closed. Terminal 2, on. Executing user load. Bishop failed. Kaizen log transcribed. Kaizen. Hello, stranger. How can I help you? Visitor. It's me, Nandi Isaka. Kaizen. Nandi's my best human friend. How can you prove that you are her? Visitor. What is going... Singularity drive charging complete. Terminal 2, entering reset mode. That's exactly what... This is it. This is exactly where it happened. So Nandi goes outside, and then Anel... And then Anel jumps. So she totally strands her. Man. I'm assuming, though, like, I would like to think that Nandi doesn't survive the jump. So that she doesn't have to float out in space alone. God. I'm with, I'm with, I'm with Kaizen. That's, that's just... That's harsh. Whoa. This? Chair. Nandi's chair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, remember, space... To stabilize myself. Exactly. Okay. I think this might be it. Or this might be it. I don't know. Okay, let's, um... Where's our first? There we go. We don't have, we don't have the time to just mess around outside. We can only do so much. That's a helix probe. So let's go and see if this thing will crack open... Nell's window. I'm a little con confused. Well, I'm a little confused as to a how to control this, but uh, but b like how to reprogram them. Kaizen didn't really tell us, other than well, he didn't really tell us. Oh, hello. HT34DF. H. Oh, okay. You lock them by hitting the right key at the right time. Of course, you can lock multiple. Mm, lock multiple tumblers. That's not good. Okay. Now all we need is that T. See, so you saw what happened the first time the T went around. Went around. Yeah, it happened here as well. If there's a T lined up at any time, you can accidentally there it is. Log uh, lock the tumblers on multiple multiple instances. Coordinates, changing probe routine, success, assessing probe, accessing probe camera, success. Nice. Is it? Oh, it's that one. Hmm. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Yeah, it bounced off roughly where we were, I think. Where we looked at. 
the window and thought that it would be the window. So hold on. What we might do, just in terms of oxygen supply and etc. Yeah, that's probably why we have three. Because look, there is a dent there from the probe, but it didn't really do much. Uh, that might be why we have three. Now, the one thing uh, for this episode, I think what we'll do is we will jam these probes into the window. That's probably going to break it. And I don't know if we'll look through Anel's room because I kind of want to take a little time to the extent that there is stuff to explore. And I'm a little bit concerned about our oxygen supply here. So what we might do is let's turn this on. Uh, here we go. H, T, F. Oh, these now change. This is interesting. Uh, what do we? 4 and D. 4 and D. Okay, the D's coming around. I like that. I like that one. See, all the symbols are now shifting. 4. Nice. Correct coordinates. Changing probe routine. Success. Accessing probe whatever. The other reason is uh, I suspect that like Nandi, Anel has... Oh, there we are. I'm going to turn this off and just check out where it goes and what it does. Well, <laughs> but if, where it goes and what it does. Where it goes and what it does is it just slams straight up into that window. Okay. The other thing, I, uh, what I was going to say, the reason I want to go back inside, and that's probably where we're going to end it for this time, is I think Anel, like Nandi, probably has a computer or a, like a Kaizen terminal in her room, and I would love to read the logs in that terminal. Like, I can't. I can only imagine what kind of stuff is written in there because she's probably like sitting in there just grumbling and there's probably some sinister stuff. Um, but it looks like the, I mean, we get the main disagreement here now, right? Which is Nandi was with Kaizen in that this drive had to be destroyed. Whoa. Uh, can we do, yeah, this is, no, hold on, this is not a very helpful... Not a, not a very helpful angle. Just approach a little bit more straight on. There we are. I'm not too fond of this look here. Okay, F, 3, E, H, D. Last one. Okay, last one. We still have plenty of oxygen. Okay. Which probe is this now? I feel like it's that one. Oh, maybe not. Whatever it was, though, just blew out Anel's window. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call that progression music from now on, because that seems like the right... Is that Kaizen, though? I mean, like, is it Kaizen playing it? Because obviously Kaizen is the one that chooses... Wow, this is quite a nice little stateroom Anel had. I feel like it's a little different looking than Nandi's. There's a bathroom, I think, right? Yeah, that looks like a tub. Okay, so, let's go back inside. What? Uh, you know, I think we have... Hmm. No, well, let's call it there. We'll go back inside, and we'll call it there for this time. I think we accomplished quite a bit. We solved a couple of these little access puzzles. Okay, Kaizen, come here. Uh, hey, Kaizen. Can you open... D10. Go on, then. Thanks, KZ. I'm just going to keep calling KZ, because that's what Nandi called him, and if we want to be on his, like, good side, we should totally, you know, keep calling him that. Okay, good. Success. You're welcome, pal. Ali. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm kind of curious what happens when you start running out of oxygen, but I don't want to welcome... Like, uh, please close D10. Hold your breath. It's nearly done. Uh, yeah, I don't want to find out. I'm not that curious, right? So, okay. Oh, I think we're going to wrap it up there while the airlock closes up. Uh, next time, when we come back, we will go to Anel's room, see if we can find the notebook. In fact, it has to be there. I can't imagine where else it could be because she's the one that stole it, right? And oh, there we are. And enabling gravity. This is the order you should be doing it in. You should always disable gravity first, because you depressurized it last time we were in this airlock, and, you know. Perfect. Thanks, Kaizen. Damn, your friend.
Uh, all right, well, let's take a seat on the couch. And next time we come back, like I said, we'll go to Anel's and we'll probably get the uh, the code and go to the bridge. Uh, unless unless there's another puzzle or something, and I'm sure that the bridge itself is going to be something spectacularly <laughs> confusing. Uh, in any case, if you enjoyed this episode, you know, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. And uh, otherwise, if you have comments, if you have any ideas or speculations about the story, you think I'm overlooking something, think I'm forgetting something, want to see something else, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better,